Opening statements are scheduled to begin today in the Chandra Levy murder trial. CBS News correspondent Whit Johnson has more from outside the courthouse in Washington. Whit, good morning. Erica, good morning. Well, the man on trial today is not the same man who grabbed headlines in the early days of the Chandra Levy investigation. The sex scandal with then-Congressman Gary Condit is still having an impact on the case. Chandra Levy's accused killer, Ingmar Gwandike, stands trial with no physical proof linking him to the crime scene. There's no DNA evidence. There's no eyewitnesses to the actual occurrence. What they do have is circumstantial. That's because Guandique wasn't indicted until nearly eight years after Chandra's disappearance. Be careful. Excuse me. At the time of her death, all attention was focused on then-California Congressman Gary Condit, with whom Chandra was romantically involved. When Guandique was finally charged, he was already serving time for attacking two other women in the same area of Rock Creek Park where Chandra's remains were found. The prosecution will call on witnesses who claim Guandique boasted of murdering Chandra while in prison. But even their accounts differ, and to this day, Chandra's exact cause of death remains unknown. That's going to make it very hard for prosecutors to bring this case home. Sven Jones was a close friend of Chandra's and a one-time suspect. He experienced the chaos of the case firsthand. The biggest pressing feeling I had was anxiety. Nine years later, Jones says closure is impossible, no matter what happens in the trial. It's never going to be resolved. You're never going to get over it. You're going to learn to live with it to some extent. Former Congressman Gary Condit is expected to testify. A spokesperson also tells us Condit is planning to release a tell-all book sometime following the trial. Erica. Whit Johnson in Washington this morning. Thanks.